I'm not happy with you, Mum, you meanie. Here we go. What's the problem, then? Well, where do I start? I was having a lovely time at Cassie's. We was having lots of fun playing all the games and everything that was all fun. And you turn up and you have to take me home. And you don't even let me stay for just one more hour. That's all I wanted to do. One more hour. But no. No. We've got to get home and do this and that and the next thing. I just don't see why you always come in and spoiling everything all the time. Why couldn't you have just been a good mum? Shown up. Seeing that I wasn't there. Right. Couldn't find me. And then just go home. That's what a normal person would do. They go somewhere to find someone. They're not there. They just go home. Let me get this straight. You think it's responsible for me as a parent to turn up to someone's house where you've been staying, right? And find out you're not there or can't find you. And then go home without you. Even though I've come to pick you up and I can't find you. You think that's... A cool thing to do. You think that's a responsible parent thing to do? Well, yeah. Well, well, no, but you're twisting my words now because you're making it sound bad. But no, what I'm saying is if, if I'm at someone's house and you come to pick me up and you can't find me because I'm obviously hiding to stay longer, then you should just leave me there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm actually saying. I don't know why you always got to make a drama out of everything. I'm just saying that why couldn't you just be a little bit cooler, a little bit nicer, and just left me there so I could play with my mate. Because we was having a good time, and I'd rather be playing with my mate than sitting in a car with you complaining about, oh, why is it every time I pick you up from your friend's house, you embarrass me and don't come straight away? Like you ain't got a home to go to. Well, I'm not making it sound bad. It is bad. If I have to come and pick you up from your friend's house because you've been round their house to play and I couldn't find you and I just left, that is bad. And I wouldn't be complaining about you doing that in the car if you wouldn't be doing that in the first place. Do you not understand where I'm going with this? It's like, I don't know what goes through your head sometimes. Can't turn up to someone's house to pick up your kid and then when you can't find them, just leave. Can you not hear what you're saying? It sounds crazy. You sound like a crazy person right now. <sighs> right, that's it, you. I don't sound like a crazy person. I just want my mum to be a little bit cooler. I just want my mum to let me play with my mate when I'm hiding behind the door. OK? I'm not crazy. I'm being very reasonable with you, mum. Bill, it's not about being cool. It's about being a responsible adult. OK, let's ask Shanann's advice then and see what she thinks and what Daddy thinks as well then, shall we? I bet you they'll side with me. Oh, here we go. Let's get the council involved. Let's get Nanny's advice. Let's get Dad's opinion. Let's get everybody's opinion about the debate between me and you and guess who everyone's going to side with. Oh, three guesses. Oh, they're going to side with Mum. And I wonder why that is. That is because Mum's going to tell them to. Oh, my God. Bella. They wouldn't be siding with me because I told them to. They'd be siding with me because that's the correct thing to do. If you go to someone's house, right, and your mum comes to pick you up and your mum can't find you there, no sensible person is just going to leave you there or just leave the, that person's house and say, oh, well, can't find Bella, what a shame, and go home. No one's going to do that, Belle. Please, can we just drop this conversation now? Because clearly we're just on two different pages on like what's right and wrong.